Evening guys, just thought I'd come on here tonight and um, give you a little update of the bench and um, just getting prepared for the NASCAR group build. I was watching some of the videos today and looking at some of the photos on the Facebook group and um, people are off to a roaring start and um, couldn't wait obviously to get started. I'm going to cool my jets a little bit. I've been building and trying to get my, my bench cleared. So I finished up the USAC build some time ago. <clears throat> I've got a little, a little, uh, couple pieces that I got to get, get updated on it. But, um, just a couple details, but for the most part, that build's done and, uh, it turned out pretty good, but, um, I also had this 64 Ford Thunderbolt that I was working on. And I I just did this build to, um, you know, just basically keep my skill set up to date, what little I have. <laughs> and um, I just like to keep going sometimes and keep my, keep my fingers warm, so to speak. And um, this was just basically a basic build, stock. No, no frills, no nothing, but I, I tried some things that were a little bit different on it. Um, and, um, you'll notice that I, I did some weathering on the bottom and, um, I had fun with it. It was fun. It's a good kit. It's a really good kit. So if I open this hood, if I can, um, what's really cool about this car is that motor. Um, that is a cool motor and I'm, I really like it a lot. Um, I painted everything with the Alclads and the AK uh, Extremes and so on and so forth. And uh, only thing I didn't do was put the windshield wipers on and I felt like it was a drag car. So um, this one really tests you on bare metal foil because it's got a lot on it, as you can see. Um, and I had two of these kits. And the reason I had two is that one of the windows was cracked and um, I like to do that sometimes is get two. So if I make a mistake, I can, um, I have two to pull from. So, cause I build the way I, the way I, I like to experiment a lot. And sometimes, sometimes it works out. Sometimes it don't. So, um, but that's, I just got this off my bench. I got a couple things I got to do on it just yet. And, um, then I'll be done with it. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I used, um, you know, for the wheels, I washed out the wheels, um, washed out the grill, um, and then the back, I did some washes on that. That turned out really good. Um, the, uh, the wheels are just stock. Um, uh, well, the rims are stock. I used some Future Attraction Sportsman wheels, um, Mickey Thompson wheels. Um, but other than that, it's bone stock and, um, it sits, the only thing I would do different is I'd probably lower this front a little bit. Um, but from a, just out of the box, that stance ain't bad. So, um, what's really neat about this kit. Now I've got to update some things on the bottom, but that rear end is really, really cool i think that rear end is awesome um and um the front it's just got a lot of parts on it that's that's very detailed um here's a better look at the motor that motor is really cool it's got a lot of parts on it <laughs> and um Really turned out great. So I'm just trying to get this off my bench so I could start on the NASCAR group build. And I've got a couple aftermarket parts that I'm expecting. So, um, but all in all, that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. Uh, appreciate you stopping by and watching my video of me rambling on about models. Um, but everybody have a good night and uh, I appreciate you stopping by and watching. This is Terry, I'm out.